Hello everyone, this is Lofabre and welcome to this tutorial for the Penumbra expansion of Endless Space 2. This one uh, will be about uh, how to fight against Umbral Coil. I will be giving you some tips because uh, there are a lot of the questions in Games Together platform and uh, also Umbral Coil is a very very different faction from any other one. If you want uh, Umbral Core specifics, uh, I made a series of tutorials and there's a playlist on uh, my YouTube channel, so you, you can look at there. And uh, they are also in a Games Together platform. Well, first thing, uh, what you will have to do you, um, when playing against Umbral Core is uh, defend against two uh, troubles. First trouble is that they'll try to hack you from everywhere and uh, you'll have to place um, defensive programs but uh, you need to know where uh, or at least try to guess where uh, hacking operations are coming from. The second one is that uh, they have uh, clocking so you'll have to find them some way. Well, uh, to find them Either if uh, you, you can make uh, lots of ships with detection modules like a mat, or you can start uh, having some suspicion about where they are. Look at this. Well, um, in this case, um, we can be suspicious because there's an intrusion alert in one of our hacking operations. Just minimize and go to hacking screen. The operation grows from uh, genus to, uh, well, very far, passing through uh, this special node, and there's an intrusion alert. If you have a look uh, closer, also you can see a, pen a penalty of about 50% in your uh, hacking speed. Uh, this means uh, they have an encryption and defensive program on it. Well, uh, this is very curious for a special node and indeed uh, the only faction that can um, place by some means a uh, defensive program over a special node is the Umbral Core. So if you are suspicious they are on the game um, you can suspect they are here or if uh, you find this uh, and you don't know who you are playing against you can automatically suspect there's umbral core near this uh, can also happen so i got a sanctuary here if they put some defensive program on the, on the sanctuary any hacking operation passing through this node will trigger also the um, program and it is very suspicious uh, having a defensive program triggered in one of your own systems um, so uh, you can suspect they are here the troubles you can find also is that uh, they start hacking from the sanctuary or backdoors they can place almost everywhere because they got a lot of uh, bandwidth so um, be careful they don't place um, backdoors into your systems and defend as explained in my uh, hacking tutorial. Here once uh, I suspect they have the home system in this special node. I know this is uh, their home system because they only get one system. I start placing my defensive programs around it. Uh, still I cannot afford placing one here but just try to um, make uh, some kind of war against uh, uh, them around their home system because uh, the Umbral Core is highly dependent on hacking. Another one you can be suspicious is uh, by commercial and trading roads. So um, I'll go for another save of the same game and uh, show you it's only just a second I'll make a power. Well, we are here again and uh, just have a look at diplomacy screen. They are at war with me. This is an important point here. Uh, I don't know why they rebuilt, but uh, sometimes uh, the game decides to do so. I won't question. Here, uh, I've got one trade road blockade. Under blockade, uh, just uh, look at here, there's one blockade, but I cannot guess where it comes from. Just look at the economy screen. If you look at this, at here, there's one trade route 
that goes from here to here. But it's located into this special node. It also is very suspicious of um, this one being the system of Umbral Core because um, there's no other faction that can build uh, some system here and blockade your trade routes. Of course, uh, it may be a pirate ship stationed here, but uh, if you take a look and there's no pirate ship, you can be very suspicious this is uh, the Umbral Core, it's the home system, because there's uh, not uh, much any other explanation. Uh, remember that before patch 1.4.9, you can uh, suspect where they were by uh, owning the academy and looking where the, their hero is or um, knowing where trade clearing bureau is if they have made it in their home system just uh, the name of the node will appear both of these uh, have been fixed so uh, you cannot more su uh, suspect uh, anytime again uh, by these two ways by um, owning the academy or uh, looking where trade clearing bureau is uh, you cannot uh, know where the home system is. Said so that, uh, we'll just uh, have to detect them. So I will advance a bit this uh, game and uh, look for them. Here we are again. Somewhat uh, the time advanced uh, without uh, taking any of your time and uh, we were very suspicious they have the umbral core got the, their home system here uh, indeed uh, this beam mod is also very suspicious well what we got here I built um, uh, some ships with a detection level at 3 so I'll send uh, it here but what the hell this is not here. I found uh, their home system here in this node, uh, just the turn before, but um, the AI is told to move uh, their home system once uh, it is spotted. So, um, as I know it from a previous save, they move to this node here. And I sent uh, this ship to scout there. Well, this fleet. Just next turn. Yes, please. Next turn. And we will move all the fleet with high detection radius. And this is the notification with just have just found their home system here in this special node with uh, my ships with high detection level now uh, what have you to do? well uh, probably you'll have to destroy them as you know now that they will move uh, their home system once spotted you have uh, various options to take some advantage of knowing this one may be forcing them to move their home system uh, before uh, their transmigration nodes are charged to uh, kill their population and destroy the improvements because they'll move even in these uh, circumstances and uh, they'll also have uh, after moving they'll also take some turns until they hack another special node and can place another transmigration beacon so you'll have time one strategy uh, to scout special nodes, maybe creating these fleets with a seeker hero and high mobility and uh, move all around pursuing special nodes until you found, found them. Also, Valadeus in uh, Discord or Games Together platform, uh, I don't know, uh, explained how to do this with a Vodiani arc uh, having only engines and uh, detection and one detection module. This arc uh, will move very quickly through the galaxy and have a very high vision. Another strategy is um, building these anti cloaker ships. Sorry, not sure if something strange happened to audio. Another possible strategy is building these anti-cloaker ships. 
as you can see. Let's go to edit the screen. I take a cheap um, explorer and put an anti-cloaker level 3 and then you can go two ways putting engines equipping it in engines to give very high mobility or equipping with uh, in cloaking modules both strategies work a bit different equipping with cloaking modules will allow you to put them into nodes if uh, the user suspicion of this node and this node put them in both nodes and once umbral core moves your detector will be waiting in the um, destination node will be waiting but uh, also cloaked on the other strategy if uh, you have very high mobilities uh, pursuing them through the galaxy well, once you found them you will have to get rid of them so uh, we will have to invade some way and this is what I'll show you just well what we got here is a sanctuary a lot of sanctuaries in one of our systems and we are at war with uh, Umbral Core just place uh, a fleet with lots of manpower or HS slugs and kill all the man manpower they will have very low manpower uh, normally because uh, this is one of the weaknesses of this faction manpower is um, well uh, shit just invade this one pick the tactic you like they are at zero manpower and kill them all just uh, as the results will be occupy pillage these both are um, are only for their home system there's no sense in pillaging your own system or occupying your own system but you what you can do is destroy sanctuary and yes we will destroy them and we have just clean a sanctuary another possibility is they got sanctuaries here in another faction system so uh, let's go and see what happens there and advance the game a bit well few turns passed a very, at a very quick speed just we will just invade the sanctuary using uh, again, a, again a fleet with a lot of manpower but first just kill them all we have to kill this uh, fleet and very suspicious pirates and now you can see here I am at war with uh, both uh, the United Empire and uh, the Umbral Core here but uh, well we will invade them anyway and here uh, because I'm at war against both I'm offer, I'm asked who I want to invade you can just pick one of them but the due to a special way they play Umbral Core is always different just invade Umbral Core and again blitz kill them all and you can see here the same result destroy sanctuary and occupy and pillage which is for the home system we will destroy sanctuaries even being in another faction system as you can see the other faction system is untouched but sanctuaries are go well the only thing remains to explain how to deal with them is another way to kill sanctuaries you don't even need to be at war with them so uh, let's go again to another and here again we are here again what we have here is that I've just had this note where I know there were sanctuaries and uh, some United Empire as you can see there are three sanctuaries and once I pick the options the possible results I'm offered like I as if I had normally this system creating a backdoor embedding slippers the normal results for this system but also I'm offered to destroy some sanctuary and yes of course I'll do it let's kill that one 
you can pick which one you want to destroy and as you see you only destroy one sanctuary per every hack but this is uh, a way to get rid of sanctuaries if you want to destroy one of those here this is some way frustrating because I cannot hack one of my own nodes so I'll have to declare where war and invade them and I cannot get rid of them using hacking but uh, you can consider this option very useful if you are playing umbral core and there's another umbral core player in the same galaxy and I think this is everything I want to explain you how to deal with umbral core so um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found this useful and we'll see you another time goodbye